Candied pecans, cranberries, they're all part of this delicious holiday apple salad that Krista Numbers is sharing with us today. This is one of my favorite things this time of the year to make. It's just a yummy seasonal salad with all the fixings. All the fixings, that's the key, is to make sure you have all of the good ingredients that make it almost a complete meal. A few meal. of the lettuces and leaves and then a lot of like the candied yes. pecans and all the yummy added Which you get junk. to make today. I do. <laughs> you get to You're make the candied pecans. The candy pecans. Yes. Yeah, I love doing that. I've been I've, warming my hands <gasps> over this. I no, you got every this. Every time I've attempted, I've like, they end up getting really burnt and when you like, you break your tooth on it. When you, okay, have you had that happen today? You're, have you have you seen that before? This. Oh, absolutely. Like that's a it thing, becomes right? like a brittle. Yes. It's a thing. You're not alone in the struggle. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> it happens. Crazy. Okay, but how do we do okay. it the right way? So we have four ingredients over there. Two tablespoons of water. You can go ahead and put that in this the pan. This is the water? And I've turned this okay. on so it's... it's oh, it sizzles. Yeah. There we go. And then a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, just like a some little salt. dash of cinnamon. Uh -huh. It's about a teaspoon of each. Okay. Some, salt. some salt. And then a good amount of brown sugar. Interesting That's on the like salt. Why do you do the salt? With it just sugary. highlights the flavor. Salt always brings out okay. like the natural nuttiness of the pecans. Yeah, so it helps it all kind of mm -hmm. marry together. together. Yep, exactly. Okay. So grab the rubber spatula. Give this so a stir. first we mix it all together. You're making a nice little syrup to coat okay. those pecans with. You can use okay. any kind of nuts. If you're, uh, you know, have an adversity to pecans or an allergy, like we have some nut allergies at our house, so I'm constantly Constantly swapping out. Sure. Take this recipe and make it your own. You don't have to use pecans. So how but that's much about a nuts cup of pecans? Would be okay, one cup. about a cup. For so this go ahead recipe. and put the pecans in. Give okay. those a stir. I've turned this up to medium heat, and you'll want to let it come to a nice simmer and stay that way for about five minutes. But you do kind of have to babysit it, or else they will burn. So okay. to your point. So I'm going to yes. put you on pecan duty. I am just gonna going to keep build this on salad. keeping on over here. You get started. <laughs> and I wanted to show you too, once those pecans are done, they make a nice little gift. Oh, that's so true. I put those in a little thing. I have some in a mason oh, jar. Oh girl, I can't tell those you out of the way. like how you much money I on those spend if you want. every year at those little stands, you know, at like Shields or the mall. I know, I was thinking mall. about that too. If I made my own, I would say My son like, came home and was like, they have those nuts at the mall. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I know, it's the same thing. You can actually make them all. You're like, it's fine. I got you. I got you. It's this. So I like to blend different greens together. That's one tip for building building your own great salad. Holidays are any time of year. I grabbed some mustard greens because they were on sale at Smith's and then some spinach. But go ahead, don't be afraid to mix and match and pick a few, two or three different types pick of greens fame. that you like and that your family will enjoy. Maybe not romaine. Is the romaine still bad it, right now? They actually cleared that. They so it. I okay, think so we're you good. Can do romaine. You That's can good. do romaine. I was but wondering. you know what? Last week it was funny how everywhere was just empty. <laughs> uh, I went to build a salad oh, at Smith's and it was like I no went to romaine. Cafe Rio and they yeah. weren't selling a salad. I was like, That's all like, I wanted. That's my go to. <laughs> so I put in the recipe dried cranberries, but these are actually cherries. They had these at Smith's this week in their Murray cheese bar, and they are amazing. They're a little bit bigger and plumper than cranberries and just have a little bit more tart of a taste. Okay. I really enjoyed. So cranberries or the dried cherries, whichever okay. you prefer. And then, of course, the apples, because this is the apple salad. So that's just two of these fun. Wait a minute, I like how you slice those guys. Really thin, what did really you thin. Do? Just, I did just, you just made them where they're like kind that? of bite sized. Just chopped just it really and then thinly kind of, and then across. That's the key is really That's better thinly. than like a chunk, I think. Right. You don't want to just that. bite a big chunk of anything. The, the point here is that all of these flavors blend together. And then I grabbed pumpkin seeds. I didn't put that in the recipe, but I wanted to kind of make the point that make your salad seasonal. If there's something that really speaks to you, like I probably wouldn't do pumpkin seeds in the spring or summer. That might be like some asparagus sure. thrown in or something. But just build this in layers of things that you really enjoy. Now, another key for having a great restaurant st quality style salad is make your own dressing. And that might sound daunting, but it really is so simple. This one's just four ingredients, third a cup of olive oil, about okay. a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, half of onion. a shallot. Oh, that, I thought that was an onion. I was gonna say, okay. do you, so shallots are fun and I use them in a lot of different things. To me, it's kind of like if a garlic and an onion had a baby. That's what it is? It's got gonna, that I've never flavor really cooked to with it. A shallot, They're but smaller, that so that's half I a shallot. I it. love this little magic bullet that I got at Smith's. It just needs a quick <laughs> blend. So my brother is addicted to the magic bowl. I use like, it for everything. <laughs> like I had to clean it out after I Every made my protein time. shake in it this morning. I love it. Okay, so you're going to dump that, that on comes there. together. And yeah, I'll save this. Give this because we have about that's our, second yep, left. That's our finished salad. So I have to take a bite the of candy this. candy pecans, once they're cool, you want to put those on parchment paper. Crap, is this burning or am I doing okay? You're good. I'm Let's still turn okay? Off. You're doing I go amazing. maybe turn off the heat. It's starting <laughs> to boil. 
And once this goes on, you want to serve it right away. And that's another key thing, I think, when you're doing a salad, is dress it before you serve it so you don't get a big glob of salad dressing on get top. Give it a little, a little toss. Bite. You also yes. topped it with, is that blue cheese? Oh, and blue cheese. But just use your favorite cheese. I, you, mm -hmm. you use feta, you can use whatever. And that you said is on sale. I grabbed this, yes, from the, the Murray Cheese Bar at Smith. They have all kinds of fabulous cheeses, all kinds of fabulous toppings for your holiday salad or anytime salad. And it can be a complete meal. Throw a little protein in there and you're set. What do you that think? That dressing is killer. You like that? It's I want to make the dressing. It's a simple dressing, so it doesn't take away from mm -hmm. the flavors, but it just kind of highlights everything. And I'm that still we put tasting all the holiday goodness and those pecans. Oh my goodness. I love it. I'm glad Simple you love it. everybody. This is where you need to go. And of course, we'll link you at abc4.com slash GTU. Today's recipe. I'm just going to keep on polishing this off. This one's for you, actually. Really? Happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday to me. You're the best. I love you. Best gift I've had all day. <laughs> Stick around when we come back. We're spreading holiday cheer with Christmas stockings, and we're putting newborns in them. So cute. <laughs> Cabinets and Mantle for Good Things Utah.